Hi everyone. Um, you all know that uh, I may be moving soon, so I may not get a chance to do much knife work or modifications or uh, general sort of construction videos. So I thought I'd try and get this over and done with now before I have to move. This is an old fireman's axe that I purchased when I was living in London. I actually got it from the Greenwich markets and it's <clears throat> it's got um, it's got the words London AFS 12616 stamped onto it and the AFS actually stands for London um, Auxiliary Fire Service so um, I was told when I bought this that uh, this axe dates back to the 50s or 60s um, it is quite heavy and I've been using it for camping in the last couple of years. Um, as you can tell um, it's not actually that big. It's a good compact size. The blade um, let's see is probably about let's see for about two and a half almost three inches um, but it's got some heft to it. Um, that's mainly because of all the steel and also steel running down here on either side. The good thing about it is that because it is so heavy it chops really well and I've actually reprofiled um, the blade so that it cuts into wood a lot better than I used to. The good thing about having these steel bits down the side with the two pins is that if the handle was to break you know pretty much permanently got a handle that you can still use it. But what I intend on doing is that it is really too heavy um, for ease of use. You five minutes use of this and you're out of breath. You need to take a break because it's that heavy. So I'm going to remove the spike and it'll look something like that. So it's more of a, a camping hatchet but also by flattening that here, having nice flat ends, uh, it'll also double as a hammer. Pretty much this spike um, can't use it for anything. It's it's a waste of steel. It's added weight, and it's pretty much useless. Um, but I've got a friend who makes knives, who forges knives. So what I was thinking is maybe cutting this off and sending this to him. Um, I know it's a carbon steel, but I don't know what sort of steel it is. I'm um, sure he can probably make use of it. Uh, put it into a knife somehow. So yeah, that's my plans. And I can hear people screaming, no, don't do it, it looks so cool. So yes, it does look cool. But it's too heavy to actually be of any good use. And I'd rather modify it, keep the blade as it is, um, the stamp and, all, and everything like that stays where it is. But I'm just removing the spike. That's all I'm doing. So let's start on it now. Wow, 
already that's made such a big difference. Okay guys, the work is done. Really? I hear you say? Yes, really. There's a spike. It's actually quite weighty. So this will be making its way overseas shortly. And after a bit of a polish, that's what the axe now looks like. Now I got a hammerhead and an axe head and it feels a lot more comfortable, a lot lighter. The patina that's on it um, will remain and I don't want it to be perfectly smooth and shiny. Um, it looks almost chrome in this light but if you were to see it in true life you would actually realize that all I've done is actually put a shine onto the patina but um, yeah look forward to trying this out next time I'm out bush it's much lighter now but still got a bit of heft when you're chopping when you're holding it down here Then for craft work and carving, that's where I normally hold it. And you actually see me use this in my um, video of uh, camping out in West Queensland. I can do very fine detailed work holding it up here. So there you go guys, this paracord was, I added this ages ago just to give it better grip and all I did was drill a hole and drill a hole down here, tied a knot in a paracord, fed it through, looped it around at the last one, um, no sorry the other way around. Um, I burnt the paracord until there was a big bubble at the end and then I blew it out and let it cool fed it through here so the bubble actually locked in place in that hole and then wrapped the handle and then down the end fed it through the hole out the other end and tied a knot in it and make sure that knot was tight cut it off and then just burnt the end that way if needed all I have to do is cut that knot off just cut that and I've got, I think there was three meters of paracord just there. So, there you go.